I am real simple with my nails anyway. So it's like, what am I paying so much for? They simple. Hey y'all. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. Hope y'all hear my voice. This, <clears throat> I didn't even know my voice sound like this. This is my first time talking this morning, so. Ooh, y'all. I don't know. Um, that event I went to, I'm telling you, like, it ain't even the event. It's the person behind the event, y'all. So motivating. Hold on. Yeah, as I was saying, y'all, it's the person behind the event. She always been a motivation. Freaking, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, somebody you look up to. She had, ever since I met her, when I first seen her, y'all, excuse me, I washed my face, but when I first seen her, I was like, she a boss, she a baddie. <laughs> and to see black women that's successful and about their business and on top of that, they look good, all of that, y'all, that's goes. I even mentioned it because I didn't know if she wanted I don't know but that's my supervisor and um, I started working with her six years ago when I started at my job and um, she has been nothing but an angel in my life very very understanding that's how really I'm able to stay at that job so long Anybody who a nurse, y'all know nursing can be very stressful at some jobs, you know. Well, let me tell you, since day one she met me, I remember um, the interview and I was running late. I was running late. I didn't know what I was going to wear. Like, I was just like really over it. I wasn't even going to go to the interview. But I dropped my, I remember I dropped my daughter off at my dad's house and told my daddy I'll be right back. I got an interview. Um, I went to my interview and y'all was a little bit nervous. Let me tell you why. Like my job was filled with bad B bosses, black women with power. Like, and that, they don't intimidate me, but like they got it going on. And y'all, I'm so much smarter and so much more than I present myself as, but I'm very humble. So I'm just like, you know. Those are goals for me. That, that that was goals for me to be in a higher position as a black woman and stepping with confidence. So I went there, um, and I really think I would get the job. You know, I was surrounded by about eight people, eight people, and then they all walked out. You know, it was like, okay, we'll be right back. You need the water, I don't need nothing. I'm ready to go. And I was expecting to hear, um, we'll give you a call, you know, we'll interview some more people, we'll give you a call. Y'all, they came back in with an alpha letter. And then that's when she took me under her wing from that right then. She was like, because I, I was like, y'all, I'm a long-term nurse. I don't really know the clinic stuff. You know, we learned it in school. I, but I can, you know, you teach me, I can learn it. I'm ready to expand my my experiences my skills and all of that and so y'all she took ready it was like i told hr give her the job like she seen something in me that i guess i didn't see it myself because like i said i was running late for the interview 
Couldn't find really nothing cute to wear. Last minute. You know, I was a little frustrated. And she hired me right on the spot. And she told me, she was like, I seen something in you from that day. You know, I'm like, I don't know what, because I just knew I wasn't getting that call back. But I know it's crazy, though, because a lot of people, they look at the outside. <sighs> I'm getting emotional. Um, a lot of people, they look at the outside of a person and they don't really look at the individual. <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm getting get a little emotional. Wow, it's too early. But yeah, they don't really look at the person for themselves, you know, for who they really are on the inside. But she seen past me brushing, my frustration, all of that. And she was like, I seen something in you. And I'm like, yes. She said it was my personality. And I, and I know who I am as a person, you know. And I feel like I think a lot of my confidence is wrecked. Because it's like most of my life I tried to get others to see that wonderful person that I am inside. You know, trying to persuade others to see that. Whew. Anyways, but you know, people with good hearts and spirits, angels... They see that. You don't have to, you know, people who supposed to be there in your life, they see past, <clears throat> you know, your flaws and all of that. But anyways, y'all, so that's how we met. And ever since then, y'all, she's been more than just a supervisor. She's been a really, really good friend. And, like, she didn't know me from the next person walking down the street, but you would think that. She knew me. Like, she understand my struggles. She understand when I was going through stuff. Like, she has been a very understanding from day one. And not just understand that she be there for you, you know. And then me going to that event and hearing how she touched so many other people the same way. It's like, wow. She is special. I already knew she was special, but golly, to be able to touch that many people that sincerely, that close, be there for people. Like, the same thing she did for me, to, for her to do it for that many people. Like, is it that much time of the day? Are you still going to school? You know, juggling work, family, probably your own problems, your own, you know, goals. And it's like, wow, she's a very special person. But yeah, that event alone, y'all, I thought about it all night. Like, it's time. It's time. She's very motivating. It's time for me to step it up a notch more and more. And, you know, not too long ago, maybe about a week ago, um, I was speaking to her on the phone. And she was saying, Sheena, make sure I want you to take time for yourself. I want you to do work on doing at least one thing that you really want to do for yourself i want you to do it because you always do it for other people you always there for other people she was like you you were so super smart you're going to go so much further in life you know and that is my goal i want to show people you know even i lost i lost my mama in a Younger age, but at the age I felt like I really needed her. Um, when I was 19, just freshly had my first child. <sighs> had nothing, knew nothing, I thought. But obviously, she taught me the skills. And that was her main focus. She taught me the skills on survival. Survival. She always told me and my siblings, I want y'all to be able to survive when I'm not here. And when we was growing up, we never really, well, I understood it, but I didn't know it was going to be so soon, you know. So, guess those skills work because I'm still here. I'm still thriving. Even though not a day goes by that I don't miss my mom. 
But anyways, y'all, we wouldn't try to make this emotional. I'm just trying to start vlogging. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I am like so excited to see like what I'm actually gonna do, and y'all, y'all gonna see. Of course, I'm gonna continue to bring y'all along with me on every little journey that I make because y'all always gonna watch me grow on this channel. I always say that. Watch me prosper, watch me grow. That's what my channel is all about. And also, I wanna be an example for any women out there who thought just because, you know, they went through a lot, I went through a lot in life. It's still not the end of the world. You still can do it. So yeah. I'm running late. Let me hear you. I'll be trying to put a little bit of curls in my hair to look a little bit presentable. The baby hair is still there from last night, so we're gonna leave it alone. Hold on. y'all can tell i'm at work and i am drinking a little bit of coffee this morning y'all know how i am about coffee but when i make it myself it won't be so strong but i'm making some coffee because um i know i'm trying to knock out this little cold Maya should have made some hot tea instead but so i just put it together and brought it to work and warming it up um i wonder where they be getting these starbucks for two like, who be donating these? Cause they need to donate me some. <sighs> Shoot. So, y'all, we're gonna get through this day. Um, I have a. Y'all, I swear, I've been freaking recording. I've been recording every day. Every day, but. Psh, I ain't gonna just blame it on the cold, but. It, when the cold hit, I really was slacking. Every time I pull out that um, computer to edit, I fall asleep. Like, last night. So, I'm thinking about dropping two videos today. One of them is already scheduled to post this morning. And then, my plan is to drop another one um, later on today. Ooh. My son have a performance today. My son have a performance today at his school, and uh, he's also playing in the, uh, they in this league for basketball now. His basketball team is in a bunch of leagues, so this is a all year round thing for us, but they in this league, so they have like a championship game today after that. So they are with their dad, um, but I'm gonna go and support my child, of course. he. I know he want me there, but um, I'm I'm happy that a lot of st events and stuff is going on while their dad is here because he needs to see everything I do. On top of that, like when he's home, he's not working. He's home. He he work over the road, all of that. So when he's home, he's home. And again, you know, me, I'm doing I'm doing this every day plus working. You know, so I'm so glad that he's able to see all of these things. Because if he won here, it would be me. What was it? Um, Saturday, they had a tournament. Two games. Sunday, 8 a.m., they had another tournament. I mean, another game, Sunday at 8 a.m. So, that means he had to be there on the court at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Monday, they had practice yesterday. Tuesday, which is today, um... He have his um, choir um, performance at school, and then he have another game today, way on the other side of town. And if they win, they got another one later on today. Plus, got to go home, get all the kids ready for school and all that. Now, think of doing all that on top of getting the kids up for school, dropping them off, coming to work, working, getting off, picking the kids up from school, preparing something to eat for the kids, running here running there doing this like come on now i am so glad all of these events is taking place while he's in town because he needs to see which i don't even know if he will even see or give me any recognition which i don't need none i just need your help so yeah 
I'm glad that all this is taking place while he's here, which I'm still going, but you know, hey, it is what it is. <sighs> no complaints. God give me the strength to do it. I'm going to do it for mine. I'm blessed. Y'all, as y'all can see, I'm home. I'm home for work. But what I'm finna do is my nails. So I'm just picking out this stuff that I'm gonna need to do my nails. We're doing us some more Jellix nails. I always say, when I get my hair done, after I do my hair, I'm gonna do my nails. So I gotta do my nails. But we're gonna have to do a fast set. Hopefully a fast, good set. Because we've got a performance today at six. Court. Okay, y'all. So, like I was saying, this got to be a fast set of nails. It's 4.38 and Duke, he performed at 6. So, I literally got to do my nails in an hour. Let's see if I can get this done. Hopefully. Um, I made me a drink, y'all. I told y'all I'm the drink making queen. I made me a drink. Y'all see that? So, today's drink ingredients is green sherbet only the lime sherbet frozen strawberries um malibu and that's it the ice is i mean the uh the sherbet and the frozen strawberries i didn't need no ice so just three ingredients frozen strawberries lime sherbet and malibu and it tastes so good hmm Tastes really good. Okay, y'all, let me get started on these nails. I'm going to be doing, of course, short square. I'm going to start by sizing my nails. I hate that I'm going to be rushing, though. So, okay, after his performance, he also have a game. Yeah, so we have to leave straight from there to go to the game. And then, depending on if he win that game, because today the championship of this league, he may have another game. Ooh. Okay, I'm cold. Why do I be so cold? Maybe because I'm drinking this drink. But yeah, let me get to measuring my nails. Um, I went to the nail store. I got these little charms. 
I don't know how I'm going to incorporate them, but they red and gold and clear. And some more junk pearls. So, hopefully they give me some little cute holiday nails. I, I picked up some black gel. Kaya want her nails black next time. And then I just got me some, I hope like, heck, this is clear. Hopefully, some clear builder gel. If y'all are familiar with the Gel X nails, the Builder Gel will cause a little more thickness to your nails. And it goes underneath your, um, it goes underneath the color. I did have this Builder Gel, but it's the pink color. Now that I'm looking at this, this might be white. I'm not sure. But this was the pink tinted Builder Gel, so. I was trying to get clear. I don't know if this clear or if this white, so we're going to see. But yeah, let me see. Let me measure out my nails. This is usually what takes me the most. I mean, the longest. Which, what I should have did was just roll down my numbers. And I don't, I'm not finna do it either today because I don't have time. But that would be very smart if I just roll down my numbers. So I already know what number I need for each nail. Yeah, I really like my little gel X nails. Let me see something. I'm ringing this for y'all. I'm not a ringer. Oh, the girls made it home, y'all. I mean, I'm not trying to call you, face. I'm going to call you regular. Y'all, I got absolutely nowhere. <laughs> my friend, y'all, the drink done kicked in. My eyes low. But I did put my nails on. Probably can't really see them. They, ooh, I haven't got a air bubble. One of them I just redid over. I have bubble. But anyways, they just on. I got to run. I got to go to my son game. So. We got to me to his performance. We got to get. Oh, I got to go. The girls went to pick up their son. They got ordered them. I cannot wait. I cannot miss my son. Um, I can't miss this performance, so I have to go. Shoot, I'm on some socks. Out of my old slides. Grab my phone. I'm going to take a fingernail out. I don't want to take my good one just in case I lose it. But y'all got a good idea on how I'm going to do my nails. That could be so cute. I hope I ain't going to have to redo that one with the elbow. But all the rest of them came out perfect. And then when I first put it on, it was on there good. Hold on, y'all. It's going to be dark. It was on there good. But um, it was crooked. So I tried to redo it real quick. And I didn't even notice. I didn't press it all the way from the tip. So it's on there straight now. But... um. Oh, I ain't got no coat. I ain't got shit. I remember making it there and getting my coat. Come on, Porsche Light. Alright, tomorrow she wanna go to the performance well. I can't miss the performance for her. She will have to drive and not go. Okay, y'all, so I made it to the school. I got to find out where it's at. Y'all, we flew up here, literally. See, this mama ain't gonna miss nothing when it comes to her cheering. If I can help it.
So we had the duck off. They're doing a really good play, but on to the next. Where we going? Duke game. Duke game. Now they have hit. These kids have us going. I going, almost, going, I going. almost fell off the chair. Yeah, what was you doing? I, I couldn't. Acting a fool. Then I almost Yeah, I got my rose. Oh, you guys. that was so sweet. You guys. On Thursday, um, I'm going to be singing and eating pizza and doing that too. Yeah, so we're going to have to... Uh, you going to it, Z? Well, me and Mariah going. And so, yeah, I'm going to take y'all with me <clears throat> when we go to her event at the school, too. But it's it's when? not... It's so Thursday. It's at your school. How you don't know about it? It's Thursday. So oh, yeah. tomorrow? No, tomorrow's, tomorrow's Wednesday. Wednesday. <coughs> so guys, still guys, sick. guys, after tomorrow, it's going to be it, So, but it's after school. <coughs> you know that? It's after school. Thank y'all do. Yeah, I don't think y'all. Okay. I got to get the back. Oh, it's cold, y'all. And I ain't got no dirty socks. That's why I'm coughing. I'm already sick. I got socks. I don't. <laughs> I don't know, Sunday I got sick. <sighs> so we done made it to our next destination. Up. Good on Judy. Look 
Look at these rocks. Look, look you see y'all see what I got to put up with? Look. Kai <coughs> just a bully. Cause I seen that video of her trying to beat up Duke. No, Z sent Z sent that. Z sent it to the group. Y'all Kai asked why I'm sitting so close to the to the court. She asked why I'm sitting so close to the court. I told her so I can yell, of course. Chelsea Janae Vlogmas. Y'all, I just put the um, Builder Gel on my nails. And the Builder Gel ended up being a white tinge instead of clear, which is fine. I didn't even, I seen the top of this was clear, but I didn't even notice that the dot was the white. But it's fine because I was going with the milky white color anyways. So yeah, I just did the Builder Gel on my nails to make them thicker. And so, I don't know if I should buff it or not. Yeah. I need some uh alcohol. Oh, no, no. <clears throat> I'm trying to decide if I want to just the builder gel is a milky white. I don't know if I want to kind of sand it down and then paint it the milky white over it. I don't know. But then I'm finna get ready to do my Christmas design on my hand. Yeah, it's getting late. It's 11.30, but I'm almost done. Yeah, I'm just basically checking back in. I'm watching um, Chelsea Janae. So I'm finna continue. Y'all wanna watch me? Yeah, we'll, I'll, I'm gonna watch this, but y'all can watch me. I'm gonna speed it up, add some music. I'm finna start putting on my designs here in a minute.
my nose starting to run. I'm tired. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, I did finish my nails. It's late too. It's almost 12 30. It's after midnight. And usually on Wednesdays I go in at 10, but tomorrow it's no nurse there in the morning. So I am going in early. So I can get off early because I do not want to be at work all night. I don't want to be at work till 7 p.m. And y'all, I finished my nails. I finished my holiday nails. Let's see if I can show y'all. So basically, they are milky white, square, short, and then my designs. The designs, they cute. It have like a little mixture of clear, red, diamond, and pearls on my nails. That's my pop of color. I did want to incorporate the gold. I don't put everything up, but the, it had some little gold hearts in there. But I laid it on my nail. It's so cute, but I couldn't figure out how to lay it flat on my nails. So I just did away. I said I used the gold hearts on another set of nails. But y'all, these are so cute. I really like them. And I was on the phone earlier with my boyfriend. He was like, I told him I was doing my nails. He was like, why you doing your nails? You don't want to. You don't want to pay to get your nails done. You need you need somebody to pay to get your nails. I'm like, no, like I'm enjoying doing my own nails. I'm like, I can get my nails done if I want to, but like the beauty of me, the more I do this, the more I'm gonna get better at it, and then I'll be able to change my nails as much as I want, save money, which I'm still buying stuff, y'all. Like I showed y'all about the designs, I bought some white builder gel, and then I bought some black gel polish for Kaya. But eventually, I'm just going to buy me one of those little sets. That way, I'm able to stash everything there. And I like once I um, build up my stash, then I won't have to worry about, you know, steadily spending money at the nail shop or whatever. So, I told her I wanted to try the short duck nails. She do too. But I was like, well, let's use what we got first. Like, so we're going to try to, you know, keep on practicing and using what we have. And then eventually, you know, I'm going to have my stockpile. To where if I had a dollar in my pocket, I can do my nails, you know. And I'm just sick and tired of going to the nail shop and getting a rush job sometime, being overcharged sometime, you know. And I've been saying I want my own personal nail tech. And I am real simple with my nails anyway. So it's like, what am I paying so much for? They simple. And then I wanted my own personal nail tech, y'all. I was looking, searching high and low, searching high and low, but nobody really fit my schedule. I think I told y'all the story when I first did my first set of Gel X nails. And y'all, she didn't go get better. She didn't go get better at this. Because I was going to do the press-ons, but just like, I saw my hair in because I don't like to take my hair off. I don't do the wig. I don't want my nails to come off so easy. So these, they... They last and they feel like acrylic. And ever since I learned about that builder gel, y'all, I can make them thick as I want, thin as I want, all of that. So I'm excited. But as usual, y'all have to get up early in the morning. Let's end this day of vlogmas, y'all. Posted two videos today. I'm doing good. I'm not gonna do that no more, but I was trying to catch up and listen, I fall back behind. So I got to get to editing so I can get another video tomorrow. And yeah. Oh, y'all like this shirt? I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but this is another Zara um, graphic tee. Um, y'all probably seen the green and yellow Brazil one. I really like that one too. This is the same kind, just another color. I will leave the link back down below again. If you're interested, I really like these. I wish they had some more colors. I'll get some more. But anyways, y'all, as usual, I want to say thank you for... All of y'all support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nothing goes unnoticed. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Y'all share my page. Continue to follow me because I'm doing nothing but growing. I'm really thinking about some big ideas for 2024. Networking, stepping out of my comfort zone, getting some goals accomplished. So, vision board coming soon. Y'all said that last year. I never said a vision board. But y'all, I'm in another headspace. So, Vision board coming soon. We're going to put all our goals down and reach them goals. 2024, we rocking and rolling. So, I'll catch y'all on the next video of Vlogmas. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time.